first things first, um, tell me a little bit about yourself, um, your name, your year, your major, and the office that you're seeking. Well, my name is Arturo Gomez. I am a second year political science major, and I am running for CHAS Senate. I'm running on a platform of pride, empowerment, and progress. Pride being a boosting campus pride and our love for our beautiful campus. Um, when it comes to empowerment, we wish to um, cut red tape, which may prevent students from getting anything they would wish to be done within our chambers um, accomplished. And we also wish to um, be more outgoing and hope to achieve more outreach with regards to our relationship to the student body because it's important to um, keep our constituents' concerns in, at, at heart. And with progress, we also wish to um, push for a more progressive agenda. We wish to, to make sure that every student not only gets a say, but they also, but they also get their concerns heard, and and whichever concerns they have will be met. Met. Um, okay. um, can you uh, describe for me the purpose of what you believe the purpose of Chas Senator is? Well, I believe it's my duty to um, to advocate for students within my own college. I believe it's also imp imperative that we, well, myself and the other seven people on my party running as Chas Senator. Um, I won't speak for their personal views, but I feel that my place in that, in that caucus would be to um, voice the concerns of, of anyone in CHAS, would be to uh, push for a more um, progressive agenda, which would serve to, well, first, we would need to uh, make improvements within uh, ASUCR itself, because we all know uh, some of the procedure can be arcane, some of the, um, some of the policy-making uh, processes are, are more muddled than we would wish them to be. I honestly feel that um, as Chas Senator, I can be an advocate for not only campus-wide ca uh, causes, but causes that are outside campus. Uh, I feel that the tuition hike that, that uh, happened last, last November should be a primary issue in this campaign. I will personally run on a platform which will um, push for a tuition-free system. Now, I, I don't expect that to be done within a year. However, I wish to make that an issue at the very least, at least add that to the conversation so that way uh, we as students would be more inclined to, um, to fight you know, for, for something that's more equitable, something that's more fair, something that we can, that we can truly you know, get behind because honestly I feel that since we're a, a public institution, we shouldn't be having to pay for, for tuition. It, this, is a public, this is a public service that we're being given. We shouldn't have to treat it like it's a, a a privatized um, commodity. Mm -hmm. um, what makes you qualified for the position of CHAS Senator? Well, I'm invo involved in several organizations on campus. Uh, I helped found in Manos Unidos at UCR on campus. It's a uh, nonprofit organization uh, that is uh, dedicated to, to improving the retention and acceptance rates of Chicano Latino males on campus. As uh, we do it through our three pillars, we, uh, we uh, do it through uh, community service, uh, through um, through study hours and through social networking, so that way we can not only help our fellow, our fellow Latino Chicano males, but also to help uh, each other within the org and to uh, get to know people in different uh, familias, which are different, you know, chapters of the the organization uh, throughout the, uh, the the nation. There, we're, we're actually the newest uh, familia, the thirteenth one. Um, I'm also involved in the United Students Against Sweatshops Local 19. Uh, it's an organization that's dedicated to uh, fighting for. Uh, workers' rights uh, for uh, fairness in, in, you know, um, labor practices, for fair labor practices. And uh, right now, we actually, uh, we've been in talks with, uh, with, with the administration, specifically uh, Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs, Jim Sandoval. Uh, we've been trying to push for Alta Gracia. It's a, um, it, it's, it's, it's a garment factory in the Dominican Republic which treats its workers fairly. It, um, it, they're unionized, they're given a fair pay, so they don't have to worry about feeding their families uh, every now and then. They actually live very comfortable lives. And they're actually, we actually sell shirts. Uh, they actually sell shirts in the campus store. They, they, they're, um, they're actually the cheapest shirts in the store. They're $13, so we would like for, uh, we've actually been pushing the administration to actually to, to make those shirts more available to students, so that way, not only can students have, can have more uh, affordable apparel, they can also purchase apparel that's more ethical in nature. And um, I'm also involved in ASUCR as a National Affairs Officer. I am um, 
and I, I am also uh, the National People of Color Student Coalition Chair within uh, the United States Student Association. Now, these two, these two positions are connected because as National Affairs Officer, I have to relay um, information between uh, ASUCR and USSA. And uh, since I'm also a, a chair on the board of directors at USSA as National People of Color Su uh, Student Coalition Chair, um, I'm also trying to push for a more, a more, again, a more progressive agenda on that board. I have uh, already, excuse me, um, I have already uh, uh, drafted a uh, resolution for USSA that will uh, essentially um, push for more f uh, a more broad focus on the issue of gentrification that's happening uh, different campus campuses nation nationwide. Now, if, if people don't know what gentrification is, it's essentially th the practice of real estate companies going into um, uh, low-income neighborhoods and, uh, you know, basically fixing houses up, but then people of a more affluent background come in and uh, the surrounding property values increase, and that pushes the uh, original population of those neighborhoods outwards, and it, essentially it's a, it's a mo uh, mode of displacement. It's actually an issue I'm dealing with in my own community in Los Angeles. I live in... Uh, Elysian Valley, which is a community located in the northeastern uh, portion of Los Angeles. I actually serve on the neighborhood council on there. And over there, we are also discussing how to um, fix the problem of gentrification because there are real estate companies coming in. There are these developers uh, building these condos that are, um, that, that, that'll not serve the community. It'll only serve people coming in from outside. So um, essentially, I, I have, I'm involved in these different organizations, both on campus and off campus. Um, so that way I may try, so that way I can um, hope to um, improve the lives of others, improve the lives of people I serve um, and the people uh, who I don't serve, who, are under, who aren't under my constituency, but I, who I would like to also assist. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See, that wasn't so hard. Okay, <laughs> yeah.